Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer represents the next step in South Korea's evolution as a major maritime power. Building on the solid foundation of the original KDX-3 Sejong the Great class destroyers, this new class introduces a suite of enhancements in firepower, sensor capabilities, survivability, and stealth. While retaining its core role as a multi-mission Aegis-equipped platform, the Batch 2 variant reflects both the changing nature of naval warfare and South Korea's ambitions to project power and defend its interests in increasingly contested waters. At first glance, the KDX-3 Batch 2 destroyer maintains a similar silhouette to its predecessor, but a closer look reveals significant refinements in design. One of the most noticeable differences is its improved radar cross-section. The superstructure has been subtly reshaped with more planar surfaces and fewer radar reflective features, contributing to enhanced stealth. These modifications help reduce the ship's visibility to enemy sensors, a crucial advantage in modern naval combat where being detected first can mean being hit first. Central to the destroyer's capabilities is its upgraded Aegis combat system, now incorporating the latest baseline 9 or higher software paired with the AN-SPY-1D-V radar system. While not yet fitted with the newer SPY-6 radar used in some US. Navy destroyers, the system is fully integrated for ballistic missile defense and multi-threat tracking. This upgrade allows the KDX-3 Batch 2 to simultaneously track hundreds of airborne and surface targets across vast distances, supporting both national defense and coalition operations under integrated missile defense frameworks. In terms of firepower, the Batch 2 destroyer is formidable. It carries a vertical launching system, VLS, with approximately 128 cells, 96 Korean vertical launching system, KVLS, cells and 32 American-made MK-41 cells. This configuration offers a diverse missile loadout, including SM-2 and SM-6 surface-to-air missiles for air defense, Tomahawk light cruise missiles for long-range land attack missions, and advanced anti-submarine rockets such as the K-ASROC. Most notably, the destroyer is expected to eventually be equipped with the LSAM, long-range surface-to-air missile, South Korea's indigenous missile defense solution capable of intercepting high-altitude ballistic threats, a significant boost to its layered defense capabilities. Below the waterline, the ship features advanced sonar suites that allow it to detect submarines at extended ranges, paired with a towed array sonar system for wide-area underwater surveillance. These tools make the ship a potent anti-submarine warfare platform, complemented by onboard helicopters, typically the Sikorsky MH-60R Seahawk or Korea's locally produced variants, capable of deploying torpedoes and dipping sonar. These helicopters significantly extend the destroyer's reach and versatility in submarine hunting, especially in the complex littoral waters around the Korean peninsula. Propulsion-wise, the KDX-3 Batch 2 utilizes a combined gas and gas COGAG configuration with upgraded LM-2500 gas turbines. This setup gives the ship a top speed of over 30 knots, allowing rapid repositioning in both defensive and offensive operations. The engines are optimized not only for speed but also for acoustic stealth, with reduced vibration and noise emissions, vital for avoiding detection by submarines or underwater mines. Crew comfort and automation have also received attention in the Batch 2 class. Although the ship is large, displacing around 11,000 tons when fully loaded, it is designed with a high level of automation, reducing crew workload and allowing for a smaller complement than one might expect for a vessel of its size. Modern living quarters, efficient maintenance systems, and improved combat management interfaces contribute to higher operational readiness and crew morale during extended missions. Aesthetically, the ship's design balances intimidation with elegance. The gray hull and superstructure blend form with function, while features like the integrated mast house multiple radar and communications systems to reduce visual clutter and enhance sensor fusion. The helipad and hangar are large enough to accommodate two helicopters, and the deck is reinforced to support unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, operations, a nod to the growing importance of drone integration in naval strategy. What truly sets the Batch 2 apart, however, is its role in the strategic vision of South Korea's Navy. With tensions continuing around the Korean Peninsula, and increasing maritime competition in the Indo-Pacific, the KDX-3 Batch 2 class provides South Korea with a blue-water platform capable of power projection, 
joint operations, and ballistic missile defense. It acts as both a deterrent and a flexible response unit, able to participate in high-end warfighting, maritime security, and humanitarian missions alike. Another key advantage of the KDX-3 Batch II is its interoperability with Allied naval forces, particularly the United States and Japan. The destroyer is fully compatible with Link-16 and other tactical data links, allowing seamless communication and coordination in joint exercises or real-world operations. This is especially important for regional missile defense efforts, where real-time data sharing can mean the difference between interception and impact. In terms of electronic warfare and self-defense, the ship is equipped with state-of-the-art countermeasures, including decoy launchers, jamming systems, and radar warning receivers. These systems provide a layered shield against incoming threats, whether they are missiles, drones, or electronic attacks. South Korea is also exploring the integration of laser-based defense systems on future destroyers, which may become available as retrofits once the technology matures. Overall, the 2026 KDX-3 Batch II Aegis destroyer is a prime example of modern naval engineering adapted for a complex strategic environment. It offers an impressive mix of firepower, advanced sensors, and strategic versatility, wrapped in a stealthy, survivable package. For casual observers, it's a testament to how far South Korea's naval industry has come in just a few decades. For defense analysts and military planners, it represents a critical asset in maintaining regional stability and countering emerging threats across air, sea, and subsurface domains. As naval threats evolve, from hypersonic missiles to autonomous underwater vehicles, the KDX-3 Batch II is designed not just to meet today's challenges, but to be adaptable for tomorrow's. Its modular systems, upgrade paths, and multi-domain readiness ensure that it will remain a cornerstone of South Korean naval strategy for years to come. Whether patrolling contested sea lanes, leading a carrier strike group, or defending against missile attacks, the KDX-3 Batch II stands ready, a quiet giant on the ocean, bristling with capability, and built for the future.